Oh yeah, it's Adam here. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this quick video tutorial is showing you exactly the reason why you're getting lagging on your webcam. Uh, this is a problem that I've recently had. Um, and what was happening, there was like a delay between my actions and what I was doing and how I was talking and what was actually being seen and recorded by the webcam. Okay, it's a massive problem. I make videos for YouTube, so this was something I had to sort out. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure it out, and I finally managed to figure it out. So I thought I'd put it together, do a quick YouTube video on it. So anybody else who's suffering from webcam lag, or it's slow and bitty, and you cannot work out the reason why, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll record. This video is actually being recorded without the lag. And I'll do another recording and I'll cut that in, which will show you the problem and what it looks like. Okay, so I'll cut that in now. Hiya, this is Adam. This is the demonstration for the Logitech webcam. You see, there's no blur, images are smooth. Okay, this is the demonstration from the Papa Look one. As you can see, there's a lot of blur and the image isn't moving smoothly. Everything is sort of behind what's actually happening. Okay, so now you've seen the problem with the lag. Um, this is what the actual issue is. Now, the previous webcam I had was this one. It's called the Papa Look PA452. It's sold as a 1080 screen, high definition webcam, suitable for everything that you can imagine on the adverts. I think I've got it here on, on Amazon. As you scroll down amongst all this, it's got the noise cancelling microphone, it's full high definition, it's all this HD, 1080, high quality, everything like that. Okay, it says it does 25 frames per second. Um, but the problem is, it doesn't. The one that I've now got is this one, the Logitech one. Now I had to research online. This one does 30 frames per second. The reason you're getting the lag and the problem especially if you've got sort of a camera like this, you need to go and research online. Although this is being sold and saying it does 25 frames per second, it doesn't. It actually does 12 frames per second. Um, and it's the 12 frames per second that is causing the problem with the video quality and why everything you do seems to be halfway behind. Okay, so the only solution I could find, I researched it on YouTube, found a number of videos, and they said go into the properties, do this. I turned off on the back of this. In fact, if you look up in the screen, that's the original webcam. You can see the one that's on the screen now. There's a button on the rear, which is day and night viewing, and you can switch that off. That was the only real solution I could find online that may have been causing the lag. So I did that, didn't make any, any difference to it at all. So just carrying on with the research, I ended up finding out that the actual camera itself only films 12 frames per second. To get decent quality video like what I've got on the new camera, the, the Logitech one, it has to be able to record at 30 frames per second. Uh, there's masses of choices in there. I'm pretty sure if you just go to Amazon okay. webcam there. It's the first one that come up, bestseller. I did all the research and it got great reviews on all of it. But you need to go in and make sure that it's doing that. Okay, so as I said, the way to get rid of how or get rid of the webcam lagging that you may be experiencing is to either go to uh, 
get that one. Uh, the Papa look is what I had, so don't get that. Um, like I said, absolute rubbish. What you want is this one, the Logitech one. It's fast, it's smooth, comes with lo loads of great features on it. Um, so just highly recommended. Make sure if you're having this issue, you actually go out, buy yourself a decent webcam. Do not waste, like I did, weeks and weeks and weeks trying to figure out why the camera was lagging. And it was nothing to do with properties. It was nothing to do with the quality of the camera. It just films at 12 frames per second, which is exactly the problem. For YouTube recording, videos, training, anything like that, you need something that is recording at a minimum of 30 frames per second. Okay. Hope you find this five minutes helpful and that you can go on and get yourself a decent camera and get away from all the stress and the outgrowth that's been happening to you. Okay. Thanks very much.